Aloha and welcome to the Pearl Harbor Navy Exchange Annual Inventory Training. The purpose of this training is to prepare all associates who will be participating in this year's physical inventory. We will be reviewing how areas are scanned and counted as well as the best practices to achieve the most accurate counts. We will also train you on, on how to navigate through the Zebra handheld scanning device. Your goal as a scanner is to continuously scan with little to no interruptions. Accuracy is key. This is not a race. Last year, our main store accounted for 919,733 units of merchandise, equating to over $22.1 million. Upon completion of this video, you must pass a quiz as well as attend a hands-on training with our RAMS department. Some definitions to be familiar with throughout this training are physical inventory, the process of identifying, counting, and evaluating all stock on hand at a specific time. Book inventory, the cost of inventory on hand as stated in the accounting records. And most importantly, a sticker or bin. These two terms are interchangeable. This is the physical zebra sticker that is placed on all inventoried areas that tells the associate where to start and stop scanning, as well as where information will be written. Each associate will be assigned to an area of the store to begin. Prior to scanning, each associate must assess the area they are assigned to. Where does the sticker or bin begin and end? Some areas may have blue tape to create breaks between bins. Check under, overhead, behind, and in between fixtures for merchandise. If you find an empty bin with no merchandise to scan, find an unscanned item to place in it. Every unit in the store must be scanned or counted only once. If you have any questions during inventory, you must only ask the zone manager. Do not interrupt your neighbor. While assessing your area, look for commonly missed areas such as hanging products and clip strips. There are items throughout the store that we do not inventory. Items such as supplies or anything charged as an expense, cosmetics and fragrance testers, consignment merchandise found in fine jewelry and watch departments, GNC shop owned products which have a blue grocery tag on them, American greetings and papyrus merchandise, gift cards, third party and NEX gift cards, wireless advocates, and any empty boxes, tags, or wrappers. If an associate comes across any of these items above, do not scan or count them. Set the item to the side until the sticker is completed then take the item to the exception bin or your zone manager. There are designated do not inventory or DNI areas throughout the store. These areas will be clearly labeled and do not need to be included in inventory counts. The only exception is for displays with multiple components. The main piece will have a shelf label affixed to it and DNI stickers will be on the rest of the components. The associate should scan the main component to count it as one unit. Once the associate has assessed their area, they may begin to scan. To open the bin, scan the barcode on the sticker. Scan all items in the bin from top to bottom and left to right to ensure all units are counted. Don't forget to check for clip strips or hanging product. The associate must scan the UPC barcode on the item itself and never the shelf label. Quantity building is when an item is scanned once, then the physical count is entered instead of scanning each unit. Quantity building is never allowed in soft lines, Apple products, watches and sunglasses, fine jewelry, or prestige cosmetics. 
the zone manager will determine if quantity building is allowed in all other areas. If you come across any problematic items in the middle of scanning a bin, set the item to the side until you have finished scanning and have closed out the bin by filling out the sticker. Then take the item to the exception bin or zone manager. All associates need to work to prevent rescans. A rescan is when an associate opens a sticker, scans items, closes the sticker, then opens the same sticker again to rescan the items for whatever reason. Some reasons why an associate would rescan a sticker or bin might be they are afraid to ask questions or make a mistake, possibly second guessing if all items were scanned, or they may have missed an item. Rescanning bins raises red flags. Some ways to prevent rescans are to make sure you're assessing each bin prior to opening the sticker. If an item is missed, place it in an unscanned bin or use the review function on the scanner before closing the sticker. If you make a mistake, raise your hand and ask for help. Once the associate is done scanning all of the items in a bin, they will close the sticker. To close the bin, scan the barcode on the same sticker that was opened. The scanner will prompt the associate on how to fill out the sticker. See the screen on the handheld device for information. In box one, write the last four digits of your payroll number. In box two, write the total amount of units scanned within the bin. Place a red flag over the barcode as a visual cue that the bin has been completed. Recounts occur to ensure accuracy in capturing every unit. There are three types of recounts. The first are mandatory recounts conducted by department leadership for diamonds, bridal fine jewelry greater than $100, all TV and Apple products, and PC hardware. The second type are manager or LP requested recounts, which can be in any department and conducted by control desk. The third type is a random recount, which will be prompted by the handheld scanner. This type of recount will be completed by the associate. This is the random recount screen that may appear as you try to close your sticker. If prompted, the associate must physically count the total units within the bin and enter it into the scanner. If the total unit count is incorrect, you will have one more chance to enter it. If it is entered incorrectly twice, the sticker will be canceled and you must repeat the process of scanning the entire bin again. If the total unit count is correct, the bin is closed successfully. The handheld will prompt how to fill out the sticker for a random recount. In box one, write the last four digits of your payroll number. In box two, write the total amount of units you scanned. In box three, write the letter Y for yes, this bin was recounted. In box four, write the first name of the person who recounted the bin. Place a red flag over the barcode to show that bin has been completed, and then place a colored flag over the red flag to show the bin has also been recounted. Pre-list sheets are mainly used in backroom areas and usually on pallets. To scan a pre-list sheet, simply open the sticker then scan each shelf label and enter the quantity for each item listed. Remember to check if there are multiple pages. Quantity stickers are used on cases of a single item. The box must be completely sealed and untampered with. Scan the shelf label on the box, then enter quantity. If any box or pallet looks open or tampered with in any way, the associate must open it and scan each item. There must be limited distractions. There must be minimal to no talking, no iPods, earbuds, or headphones. 
Cell phones must be on silent mode and not create distractions while scanning. Zone assignments will be posted across the first floor restrooms near the employee entrance exit. Breaks will be assigned by zone managers. Associates are not to leave their assigned zones unless the zone manager is informed. Dress for comfort as you may be kneeling, bending, climbing ladders, or stools. T-shirts, denim, knee-length shorts that are in compliance with HR guidelines are allowed after close of business hours. Name tags should be worn at all times. Be sure to bring eyeglasses if needed. Only water is allowed in sealed containers in inventory zone areas. Food court will close early on Sunday, January 31st. Come prepared due to no potluck style gatherings allowed. This is the Zebra handheld scanner device that all associates will be using to conduct inventory. All associates will become familiar with the functions of the handheld scanner during hands-on training with our RAMS department. This concludes the video portion of this year's inventory training. Click the link here to access the inventory training quiz. All associates are required to pass the quiz before attending a hands-on training class. Ensure you are signed up for hands-on training. See your manager or supervisor for your scheduled class time. Mahalo for viewing the Pearl Harbor Navy Exchange Annual Inventory Training. Again, be sure to click the link to access the quiz.